Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how you can take something as simple as a corner rounder and create scallops for your projects. Um, so what you'll see here is a sample card where I've obviously rounded the corners and then I have another sample card where I have created the fun scallops for the edge of the card as well as this focal point here in the center of the card. So let me show you how to do this. So this is actually a corner punch by EK Success and um, it actually has a pretty cool function where you can go ahead and you can take this guide off of it and that will help you be able to create scallops and then you'll just simply go ahead and pop that back on just like that to do your corner rounding again. So first of all um, I'll just show you the obvious of rounding your corners. So having your punch upside down so you can see through the window, you go ahead and you put your cardstock or your paper in there so that your corner meets that guide, and you just go ahead and punch it, and then it rounds your corner. Well, so now let's see how you can go ahead and create scallops. You'll go ahead and, like I said, you'll pull these two prongs apart and then slip it off and put that aside. And then what you're going to do is, I like to start in the middle of my cardstock or my paper that I'm going to go ahead and do my scallops. And what you'll want to do is you want to pre-cut your paper to the size that you want for your project. So then you're going to go ahead and you're just going to go ahead and slide it in until it's flush with this um, little guide here at the, at the base. And you're going to go ahead and punch it. And what you're going to get is it's kind of like this little smiley face. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and slide it back on there, again keeping the paper flush to that guide. And you're going to want to see, let's see how close I can get this because I don't want it to go out of focus. But you're going to basically be lining it up with that little lip um, that remains that little open area from the last punch. You want to just be able to see just barely any space left on that. And again, keeping that flush to the edge and you're going to punch it. And see then it creates a nice scalloped edge. And you'll just continue doing that. It is um, kind of a learned process. Um, it does take a little bit of practice. Um, I'll show you just a couple of things that can happen um, just so when you are doing it you don't feel like you're doing something wrong. Um, if you do go too far in and you have too much of that gap or that open space from your last punch showing and you go ahead and punch, what you're going to do is you're going to have kind of an extra cut there. It's not a nice flush um, space there and if you go too far so let's see here, you go over and punch, you're going to get this little divot left in your scallop, which isn't that hard to fix. You can just go ahead and take a nice pair of micro tip scissors and um, cut out from both sides to kind of make it seem like it comes together and it's okay. Um, but it is a very um, fun process that you can get more bang for your buck. You can not only round your corners, but you can create fun scallops. And um, so I hope that that's inspired you a little bit and that you've learned something from that. Um, again, it's by EK Success, and you can actually get one from, order one from me online by visiting my website at www.sunnydaymemories.com. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks for stopping by.